you love eggnog? If you do, you are going to love this eggnog shortbread cookie recipe. I'm Michelle from Cup of Zest, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make these super simple, super delicious cookies with an eggnog liqueur icing. You're gonna love them. So let's get started. This eggnog shortbread recipe is basically the same as our slice and bake shortbread cookies with a few extra spices. So to start, we're gonna go ahead and add in one cup of softened salted butter. See, it's nice and soft. There we go. And because, you know, shortbread has a lot of butter in it, you wanna use a quality butter. Um, I'm using like an organic butter from Trader Joe's, that's really nice. But any high quality salted butter is gonna be fantastic for this recipe. All right, so we've got one cup of salted butter. We're gonna add in three quarters of a cup powdered sugar. Like I said, similar to the other shortbread recipes we've got going on here on um, this channel. And with all my content, we use a scoop and level method to measure out our dry ingredients, so like our flour and our powdered sugar. And then we just need a one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Perfect. So we're gonna beat this together over like medium speed um, with my hand mixer until it just becomes light and fluffy, okay? If you're using a sand mixer, your time might be a little bit different, but you'll want it to just be light and fluffy, okay? So I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. All right, so this is what you want it to look like, just as light and fluffy, we're not gonna overbeat it. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our dry ingredients. Let's get this out of the way, come on, buddy. What you might wanna do first is scrape down the sides of your bowl, especially if you're using a stand mixer. Just so everything incorporates really well. You know, a little butter and sugar might go in my mouth, maybe. I mean, I am just baking myself today, so it's fine. So we're gonna add in our easy flour, two cups worth. Ooh. Again, scoop and level method, I think you get the picture. <laughs> Um, I also have the weights of the ingredients listed below in the recipe description. So if you like to weigh your ingredients when you bake, you can totally do that too. So here's where we get our little eggnog spice fun going on in the dough. We're gonna add in um, about a teaspoon's worth of freshly grated nutmeg. I'm just gonna do it straight into the bowl. I think I'm gonna eyeball about a teaspoon. If you feel more comfortable, definitely go ahead and measure it out. And using fresh nutmeg just like adds so much flavor. Um, definitely splurge. The jar of nutmeg is gonna last you forever. I know it's a little pricey when you first buy it, but it lasts for a very long time. Super worth it. All right. Ah, that looks about good. And then a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now we're just gonna beat this together until the dough just starts to come together. Um, again, we don't wanna over mix it. All right, that looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out of these beaters. Really the fresh nutmeg, oh my God, it smells so good. And the cinnamon, love, love, love. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take this and put it onto a lightly dusted surface, a little flour on our surface, on our counter, whatever you've got going on. I'm just gonna dump this all out. Get all of it, come on, come on, do. All right. Now we're just gonna go ahead and press it together until a log, into a log, not until a log. I guess until we form a log. 
and you're not really kneading it, but you're really kind of forcefully pressing it together. There we go, I think that looks fantastic. Got all these little bits in there. Um, this is starting to stick a little bit, so a little bit more flour goes on our surface. And then you're gonna go ahead and cut it in half. I'm just using a bench scraper, I'm gonna eyeball it. Again, if you scale users, you can weigh out your dough if you'd like. And then we're gonna go ahead and roll this out into a six inch log. One more flour, roll or press. I like to press um, and then roll at the end. I find that that's the best way for me to form a nice log of dough, a <laughs> log of shortbread dough. Press the ends in so it stays nice and neat. There we go. Let's measure this baby. That's about six inches. Remember, it doesn't need to be perfect, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up in some parchment. And then we're gonna refrigerate it for two hours until the dough is nice and chill. I'll do the rest with this other piece of dough too. And then again, just chill for two hours, at least two hours, okay? Set you over here. We'll get the other log of dough going. There we go. All right, into the fridge they go, and then we'll see them in a minute. Our dough for our eggnog shortbread cookies is nice and chilled. So we're gonna go ahead and slice this into like a quarter to three quarter of an inch thick slices. And you're gonna get about 10 slices out of each log. Is that right? No, 20 slices out of each log. <laughs> oh my God, can I even do math? Yeah, I can. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I got eight out of this one. So just as long as your slices are about the same thickness, that's good enough. And I like to slice the logs in half first because I think it's a little bit easier to manage when you're slicing everything. All right. And these are gonna go onto our parchment line baking sheets. And you wanna evenly space them on here. Um, you can put four in a row. They're not really gonna spread too much. They really shouldn't spread at all. So they're gonna be fine totally, nice and close on our baking sheet. It's like a little game of checkers going on over here. <laughs> All right. These look great. So these are gonna go into the oven um, for about 14 minutes until the edges are like just slightly starting to brown. You really don't want them to get too dark. So 350 degrees for about 14 minutes. Let's do it. Our eggnog shortbread cookies are fully cooked, fully cooled, and ready to be iced with our eggnog icing. So to make our icing, we have one cup of powdered sugar. We're gonna go ahead and add in seven teaspoons of eggnog liqueur. Now seven seems like an odd number, but it's actually, well, it is an odd number, um, but it is uh, the right amount to get the consistency that we want for these cookies for the icing. So seven teaspoons, there we go, oops, make a little mess, that's fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and whisk this together until it comes together and it's nice and smooth. Put a little elbow grease in it, into it, not like actually in the icing. <laughs> All right, so this looks right, it's nice and thick and it's gonna taste delicious. Now, if you don't wanna use um, liqueur, you wanna use eggnog liqueur, you can't find it or you don't want the booze in it, then you can try this with regular eggnog. Just try to get it to this consistency. You can try seven teaspoons as well with one cup of powdered sugar. Um, but, you know, play with it until you get a consistency of icing that you like. Okay, that's gonna hang out over there. We'll get rid of these guys. And they're gonna ice these babies. So we have our eggnog um, shortbread cookies and you're gonna go ahead and take your icing that we just made and you're going to put about a half a teaspoon on each cookie and spread it around. So I like to just put a little bit and then do and then actually hold the cookie still and just ice it with a spoon. If you wanna get fancy, you can put this into a piping bag, but like, we're, we're not gonna do that today. 
You can even pick up the cookie if you need to. I'm just gonna spread it around. It's gonna be glorious and it's gonna taste so good. Ooh, yeah. These are gonna be so good. Just gotta be patient and like finish icing all of them. Ugh. Uh oh, I'm running out of icing. That's all right. If you want, if you start to run out of icing like I am, because I'm putting it on pretty thick here, um, you can just whip up some more. You know, maybe do a half batch, and yeah, it'll be great. Because I think I just have enough to do like one more cookie, so it's all good. And you know what? You can just leave a couple naked, a couple non-iced cookies for your uh, friends that don't like the icing, which honestly I think is the best part. So. They don't like the icing, I don't know what to tell you. All right, we are done with this step and now we're gonna make them a little bit fancier, a little special, optional, optional step, but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. All right, so let's make a little room so I don't knock anything over because I'm definitely a klutz. Um, this optional fun little step to make our cookies a little bit more festive is luster dust. This is edible gold luster dust. Edible gold luster dust. We're gonna go ahead and just bring a little bit on the cookies. Um, it's a lot of fun, it makes things look a little festive, so I'm just gonna dip a brush into the luster dust and then tap the brush over the cookie. And I like how this looks. If you like to do luster dust a little bit differently and you wanna like brush it on, you totally can. You just need to wait for the icing to fully set or else you might end up with a little bit of a disaster. So I like this little sprinkle look. I think it's really cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it with just this one tray of cookies because, um, you know, not everyone gets gold. Some people like it plain and some people like plain. Actually, I'm lying. I like everyone to have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna put luster dust on all of these cookies because I'm actually gonna give these to some friends tonight and I want everyone to have a little, little gold cookie situation going on in their life, you know? Everyone deserves it. So pretty, so fun. It kind of just like makes the little imperfections of my icing job look intentional and not crazy. <laughs> no decorating skills needed. You know, this just adds a little, little pizzazz to your cookies without needing to like go crazy with royal icing. And uh, I mean, look at them. They look fun, they're super festive and they're also delicious. Um, I'm gonna take a bite so, you know, you can be jealous of me. But instead of being jealous, maybe make a batch of your own soon. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hello eggnog. Oh my god. The cookie's buttery. It's delicious. It's got a little saltiness. It's a nice crumbly texture, just like the other shortbread recipes I've been sharing. But the nutmeg in here and the eggnog icing. Oh yes. 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 Mmm. So good. Love. Oh. I want to point out one other thing. Um, if you're going to go ahead and pack these up for a friend or you're going to put them on a platter or something, you need to wait until the icing is fully set. Because if you don't, you're going to end up with icing smushed. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice one cookie and show you. So, you know, that smushiness, if it's set fully, that's not going to happen. Um, you know, if you were to like place a cookie on top of it, it's not cute. So go ahead and wait until the icing sets completely. You can go ahead and sacrifice one to make sure it's set. And then you can go ahead and stack them and it'll be totally fine. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any other party food fun. And happy holidays. I'll see you next time. Bye.